Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Vikings with us. We are on Season 3, Episode 2, The Wanderer. So, Steve and Lacey. <laughs> um, so yeah, in the last episode we uh, see kind of like the start of everything going on over in England and... Eckbert having a crush on Lagatha, which I think is kind of cute in a way, so I don't know. But I'm pretty excited to get into this episode. You about ready? Yeah, I was ready. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Duo it. Looks like a freaking pond. I mean, he couldn't go around. That's what I was thinking. I remember it thinking seems that. Seems kind of. Why couldn't they go around? Oh. I know. He don't look very hungry. good, does he? For the first time, he's not gonna be alive. Long. It's the first time for. Him. Well, in the in the recap Wait. part, it made it a point to show him getting shot with that arrow. So maybe. Infection or something? That's... He's not gonna make it. Because he looks like he's feverish and not feeling very good at all. And I saw him kind of, like, doing something to his arm. I'm so happy that my uncle is dead. And I still don't believe it. And now, now, I want his head. I want his head. I need his head. Okay. Sure. He's like, sure, all right. Why do you hate your uncle so much? Do you think that my older brother was the only member of my family who raped me when I was a child? It was my uncle who first brought him to me. Since I was six years old, he abused me. And he told me not to resist the attentions of the many men that he brought to me, saying that they all wanted the pleasure. They wanted the pleasure of sleeping with a child. And my last was my brother. And even when I cried and I said that they were hurting me, they didn't stop. They never stopped. Wow. Is that why she's like a freaking nympho now? Because of the trauma, apparently, as a child? She's messed up. Yeah, she is. Here you go. Here Pokey's like, yeah, I like this. Pokey's <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. Girl, you got some problems there. Is that really good? Son of Ragnar. I only do this because I care about you. Well, because I'm a woman. No. Yes. Marry me. What? Yes, you to marry me. What is your answer? So romantic, Bjorn. Yes, I will marry you, Bjorn. I mean, you could look a little more happy about it. Good. That was an interesting proposal. Yep. Delirious. Uh, yeah, he is. Is he looking at that person? Yeah. Is he on some drug? Why did you do that? Just the angle of the leg? I couldn't help myself. There you are! I'm so confused on I'm that. I'm looking for your king. <laughs> okay, drunk. 
<laughs> oh, is it mushrooms? They're all fucked up. Oh, oh okay. Hello. <laughs> bottom of my heart. He asks if you are a free woman. Are you free? Uh, wow. Nice. And there he is smiling. <laughs> wow. Oh, they're running? Oh, I Those thought they were going ran to away. prepare. No, it looked like they dropped their weapons. Oh. Some were running away. Maybe they're like, fuck this. These guys are freaking crazy. Okay. Beloved brother, spare yourself. Wait and I will see that you come to no harm. I do love her. So I first. No harm to it. Come. Come now, it's too late. Trying to cool himself off, I guess. I thought he was going in there to maybe try and kill himself or forgive himself. Um. Yeah. She learning some of the language here. I dreamed of a stranger. There was snow on the ground, and he was walking towards me through the snow, so his footsteps made no sound. His arms were outstretched, and in one hand he carried a ball of flaming snow, and his other hand, his other hand was covered in bright blood. And the blood left the trail in the snow behind him. You too? Yes. Both of you. We have all dreamed the same dream. They've all dreamed the same know. dream. Who has nothing between his legs but a goat's beard. Wow. I to all hail El Cow. Uh-oh. That's the dune. Yep. Stones are much easier to wear than earth. He's trying to pamper her. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Giving her necklaces. She's kind of digging it a little bit. I think so too. It may be a good thing. I mean, but I have a feeling something's awaiting her that's gonna happen and it's gonna destroy a lot. Yeah. Well, it's kind of what the prophecy is saying. <laughs> Who goes that? <laughs> you know, Blue Of course you do. But where is he? Oh. Yep, that's meant for you. Yes, it is. I don't know what Lord Margaret is. I don't believe you. Yes, what's happening? I could remove an eye or some teeth. Do you have a preference? Jesus Christ. Why don't you just say something? <laughs> I thought they were still going to do it. Strange. I have no argument with you, my friend. Let's stop together. We are not all like the North, man. Which is why I've come to ask you a favor. I want you to hear my confession. I could 
Bishop Edmund, my confessor, is not here, and I must confess or live in purgatory. Oh, what? Confess that you want Athelstan? You think that's what it is? Uh, I think she wants him, but what she wants to confess, I don't know. I get the feeling it has something to do with him, though. In what ways have you sinned, my child? I've sinned in thought, but not in deed. Then your sins are not so great as they might be. They are still great. What are these thoughts you've had? I have dreamed of lying naked. Beside a man who is not my husband. I freaking knew it. And did you just lie beside him, or...? We made love, and I enjoyed it very much. And that man was you. You certainly sinned. Who? Who was this man you lay with? Who was the man? It was you. Awkward. This is their dream. This is the dream. Flaming snowball. By saying that the liver is a seed of life. But he just smiled and went on eating with blood streaming down his chin. So, that sounds like something Ragnar would do. No, Smiled and just kept going. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid of Ragnar? What sensible man would not be afraid of a farmer who made himself a king. I want to be like Ragnar. I want to be famous like Ragnar. But not have to put yes. in the work. I want the poets to sing of my exploits as they sing of Ragnar's. I want the gods to pay an interest in me and prepare the bright holes for my coming. Say Ragnar is descended from Odin. Still human. If you cut him, he will bleed. So that's how he wants to become famous. He wants to kill Ragnar, is my guess. Or have him killed. I want you to cut off my arm. <laughs> Why not keep it? Because it's killing me, stupid. No good to me anymore. I don't want it. I don't, fact, I've always I don't want it. Deserve. I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Always so considerate. I want Floki to do it. I suppose so. I would do the same for you. I know. <sighs> you sure you want to go ahead? No, not my head. Just cut off the sticky arm, man. Jesus Christ. Too bad it's not your freaking arm. You could have saved some money. Oh. Jesus Christ. It happened pretty quick, but ow! That it is possible to respect two cultures and to live in amity between them. Thank you. Please tell Earl Ingstead how much I admire her and that she is always, always welcome at my house. Seg de Conaverma adds me of Sina's girl merit. Better to her desmitted. She says she likes the necklace. It is so beautiful that it must have been made by dwarves. <laughs> we don't have dwarves in England. Sent a tour tracker. El Cio Salvare Eo. She says, of course you do. You just don't see them. You did not wait to hear your penance. You're leaving. Is that not a good thing? It saves you from further sin. She's like, I don't want you to leave. So you love our young monk, do you? The more dangerous he is. And would you say that about yourself, Father? Mm. Just die already, dude. You're dying. I 
like, is it did he even get to the arm fast enough to be, I mean, is this, uh, the person that they've been having the dream about? Yep. Injured my hand rather badly, as you can see. I wonder, can you help me? At the trickster. I gotta admit, that episode confused me quite a bit. Like, I don't really get it, I guess. I'm just gonna say the same. I mean, it kind of was jumping all over the place, which is fine most of the time, but for this episode, it was like... That makes no sense to me, what just happened. Yeah, it did. Like, I mean, I kind of get it, It showed okay. six scenes of <laughs> that dude dying, and then they talked about the dream... And then Athelstan comes in with his hands bleeding. Okay. Why? Uh, yeah. Very confusing episode. Like, I gotta admit, um, not much to talk about, really, to be honest, because... <laughs> you can't talk about what you don't know. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, I'm hoping that the next episode kind of pulls things together a little bit better for... <laughs> But this one was kind of, it was different. So, yep. But, yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And bang that bell. And we hope that you guys have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Peace out.